to secure the network. Then some network protocols which are very important in collaboration networks that are NTP, DHCP, DNS, TFTP, CDP, LLDP, and SNMP. You know about all of these protocols? Yeah. Okay. So NTP is network tying protocol, which is used for time synchronization. Now in voice traffic, because it has to be real time, it is very important that the devices must have a synchronized time is and when you have to monitor the calls, have a statistics of the calls, it should be correct, right? So for that, the time must be synchronized. It can be through an external NTP clock. It can be inter internal NTP clock. Internal NTP clock can be configured on a router. So we can simply just configure NTP on a router, or make that router yeah, NTP. That's, that's, that's okay, yeah. So it's very simple. You just configure, configure two commands, make it a yeah. NTP server, and all your yeah. users within the network get synchronized from the time that you configure on this NTP server. That will be your router or it can be an external NTP clock, right? global clocks. So you can connect to that as well. So NTP is a mandatory requirement. Right? Time synchronization is mandatory. The next is DHCP. DHCP, why? Because we need IP. All the devices need IP. On When we talk about the collaboration endpoints, some phones, IP phones, we do not have an interface like computers or laptops where we go and statically give an IP address, mm -hmm. right? So it's, that's why we always have to have a DHCP server in case of collaboration network so that all your endpoints can get IP addresses from your DHCP server, right? So that's where DHCP comes in. Then DNS. DNS is required to resolve your fully qualified domain name to IP. We use URIs and numbers both you can make calls to either numbers or your URIs extensions your names so to resolve that we have dns servers to be in this then tftp server tftp is trivial file transfer protocol this is used to get the files what type of files configuration files in this case that tftp server can be our cucm yeah. So COCM gets the configuration files to the end devices. Okay? So that protocol is called TFTP, which is used to send the traffic, send this, these configuration files to the uh, end devices. Okay? Then CDP. CDP is Cisco Discovery Protocol. This is used for basically neighbor di discovery. But other than that, it performs some other functions. For example, if we talk about within a network, when you have a switch, connecting multiple devices. Let's say these are some IP phones, right? And this is connected to some CUCM here, right? These devices, first of all, what they need is time synchronization. So you need to have a NTP server within your network. It can be configured on the CUCM or a router. Let's say this is your NTP, like you said in your environment is. So from here, they are getting the time synchronization. DHCP, let's say you have a DHCP server separately or you can configure it on the CUCM itself, or again, it can be configured on a router. DHCP can also be configured on a router. So any source, but it needs an IP. So from where it will get an IP address. So they have got an IP DNS to resolve the uh, names to numbers and numbers to names. Yeah. Then TFTP to get the configuration files from the CUCM. Then comes CDP. CDP is why it is important because it IP phones, they need VLAN information, right? That VLAN information comes from the switch and how that information is sent and received. So to receive the VLAN information, the protocol used is CDP. So switches have CDP enabled by default. Whatever VLAN you configure and put that to the voice VLAN, that information will be sent to the end devices using CDP. Cisco discovery protocol, if we are talking about proprietary Cisco, mm -hmm. but if we are talking about, or if you have open standard, any other vendor other than Cisco, then we have open standard solution to that. That is LLDP. So CDP and LLDP both are used for the same purpose for assigning VLANs to these end devices. It's just that CDP is Cisco proprietary, so only works on Cisco switches. Right? LLDP works on the other switch, other vendor switches. But 
even if it is not a cisco switch let's say some other vendor switch the devices will need the vlan information right the end device as well so in that that case cdp will not be the protocol that will be lldp so lldp will be sharing the vlan information then lastly we have snmp simple network management protocol to manage and monitor the network so basically we use it for monitoring so you can have a snmp server from where or from a centralized point you can manage monitor your network right so these are some network protocols which are essential ntp dhcp dns tftp cdp lldp and snmp with different